Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration be from 2006, problem 17. We have the integral from zero to pi, cosine seven x, cosine 17 x, cosine 37 x, dx. Okay, I know I've done problems like this quite a few times in the past. I think in most of the other examples, when we had, when we had three trig functions and different angles on each of them, I think in all those other videos, what we did is use some version of the different angle formula. What you can do is apply it multiple times or you can derive different angle formulas for when you have three trig functions. But what I wanna do in this video is something a little bit different. I think I wanna use King's principle on this. And so for the substitution I wanna make, I wanna make a u substitution just adding the bounds up. Pi plus zero is just pi minus x. I'll solve for a value for x. So just rearranging this thing a little bit. So we're gonna have x equals pi minus u. Take a derivative, dx equals minus du. So then we'll just go ahead and substitute. So we'll plug pi in right here. We get a zero for the upper bound, plug zero in, you get pi. And then everywhere we see an x, we need to plug this thing in. So let's just write all that out. But next what I wanna do is I'm just gonna take this minus sign here and just get rid of it. I'll bring it out front of the integral and we use it to swap our bounds just to be nice. So we'll put that back. And so now we're integrating from zero to pi again. And then the thing I noticed here is there's just a real similarity. Everything's cosine. The input to the cosine all looks kind of the same, and I think it's gonna be important that in each case, we have an odd number. So I think that's gonna matter. But what I wanna do is kind of see what happens in general, like without trying to figure out what happens exactly at 37. Let's just kind of generalize this and let's look at what happens if we have cosine a pi minus u. And then I think what I wanna do is just distribute that a in so I can just write this as cosine a pi minus a u. But then let's just use the angle difference formula for cosine on this. So what this is what this is going to transform into, I can write this as cosine a pi times cosine of the second part, a u. Then we need a plus sign here, and then we're going to have sine a pi times sine a u. But now when we try to simplify this, the important thing is that we know some things about our a value. It's not just any number. Our a value, we know it's gonna be an integer, but we know it's actually gonna be an odd integer. It doesn't really matter here for sine because sine, when a is anything times pi, any integer multiple of pi for sine is just zero. So this whole piece of it goes away. But it's gonna matter right here more on this term because when a is odd here, cosine of pi is minus one, cosine of three pi is minus one. Any of these values, this piece right here is gonna be minus one. And so for our value of this whole expression, it's always gonna be minus cosine a u. So what we can do for each of these expressions, I can write this one as minus cosine seven u, minus cosine 17 u, and minus cosine 37 u. But now for simplification, I still wanna get rid of some of these minus signs. Well, like if I just here, we have minus one times minus one, we multiply those together, I can change those two into a plus. Then for this one here, I'm just gonna take this all the way out front of the integral, we'll get rid of this, and we'll just have a minus sign in front of the whole thing. But now just one more step before I finish this off, I'm gonna do a variable change on this, because what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna compare it back to our original integral. So let's get everything back into x. Definite integral, I can change the variable. That's no problem. So I'm gonna change all these u's to x's. But then the thing I notice now, this whole integral, excluding the minus sign, right? This whole thing here, this is exactly what we had for our original problem. So what we did is let's just label, let's just label our original, our first integral that we started with, we label this i. We did all this manipulation, but all these expressions are equal. So this expression here is also i. But again, if this here is just i, then what we've done is set up this equation where we're saying that i equals minus i. We can just add an i on both sides. Then this is gonna cancel, we have zero here. So we're saying two i equals zero but if two i equals zero, then we know i equals zero, and so our solution for this is just zero. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.